Hi guys, Riley here at Quadricopter. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to solder your brushless controller to your distribution ring. Things you're gonna need are your distribution ring, brushless controller, two caps which come with the brushless controller. I've made a little modified paper clamp here, needle nose pliers, clippers, and your silver wire. Uh, so the first step is we're gonna bend our caps. As you can see, I've already bent this one and the best way to do it is if you just put your needle nose pliers and you can kind of just use your thumb and bend it over. Next, we're gonna attach the caps to the brushless controller. One thing you wanna be very careful of is to make sure you have your polarity correct on the brushless control. Uh, it's labeled on the sides here. Uh, so we'll just attach them to the brushless control. And then the next step, we're gonna actually attach it to the distribution ring. Just wanna make sure you get everything lined up and it should go right in there. And this is where the clamp comes into play. I've found to keep everything in one place, you can attach it to here. I added tape to this clamp just so that I wasn't scratching up the electronics. Um, it just keeps everything nice and clean. So just make sure that your capacitors are straight. And then sometimes you'll have to just clip the back ends off so that it'll lay flat. Now we'll take our soldering iron You wanna make sure that you touch the soldering iron directly to your work so you'll heat up the pad and apply a small amount of solder. It should make a nice pool. Things you wanna make sure you're looking for are uh, nice, nice clean solder. You don't want any um, lumps or strange marks in it. It should be nice and clean and shiny. And so we'll just do this along the top side. So it should look something like that on the top side. And then we'll do the other side. Um, one thing you wanna make sure of is to keep this nice and tight to the distribution ring. Um, you can use uh, like a piece of tape or whatever you have handy just to apply pressure to the back side of that so it'll stay pressed up tight. We'll do the same thing on this side. Heat up our pad. It can be kind of tricky with these small pads, but you just gotta be patient. Sometimes you'll have to move your soldering iron around just to keep an even temperature on the board. You wanna make sure you cover the entire pad up. You can see on this side where I missed it a little bit. should look something like this. There's not a huge glob. A lot of times we see too much solder and it, and it will almost be touching the other pads. If you just keep just enough on there, and you want nice and shiny. So next we can go in and clip this extra bit of lead off. Just get it down close to that solder joint. And then you just wanna make sure that when you clip those off that none of the uh, parts that you clipped off land on this board cause a short. Um, so next we can unclamp this and we're gonna do the C and D pads on this. Right now you can see they're not attached. 
Um, so what we do, um, the easiest way we've found is we've just bent our silver wire like this. That way you can slide one lead onto each side. And then the pressure of it being bent like that uh, keeps your silver wire from moving around when you're soldering. So now we're gonna solder the C pad. Same thing, just apply the soldering tip directly to your work. And you wanna make sure you get a good flow so that it goes from one side of the board to the other. Flip it over. And you can see it didn't go all the way through so we'll just touch it up on this side. Now again, we'll go in and clip the extra pieces off. And so that's what it should look like when you're done. Nice, shiny, there's no large globs. It's nice and clean, there's nothing touching on any of the components, and that's what we're after. Um, another thing you wanna pay attention to, in this case, we were soldering on brushless control number one. You'll just wanna check your addressing. For number one, it turns out that you don't have to um, do anything that's good as is, but if we were to do number two, for example, you can see where it shows a little two and a three. That relates to these jumpers on this brushless control. So number one is just left blank, there's no numbers. If we were doing number two, for example, we would wanna apply a bit of solder to pad number two and three so that we bridge those two together. Um, the other thing you might want to do is right now these caps are just floating freely. We will normally take some hot glue or epoxy or whatever you have handy and glue these down. That way over time when your copter's up in the air and causing vibrations, it's not going to rattle these off and cause problems down the road. Okay, so now we're gonna show you how to solder on your motor leads. Uh, the first step to this is gonna be we're gonna to wanna to clip a little bit of the wire housing off the end here. We'll just twist the wires together. And we're gonna to wanna to tin these wires. Basically what that is doing is preparing it to be soldered to the ring here. Um, a lot of people will use helping hands to hold them. I just like to lean it on my cutters here. And we're just gonna put the soldering tip right to the wires and we just wanna get a good flow of solder through. Get a good flow through all the wires there. So once we've got that tinned, the next step is we're gonna solder it to the brushless control. <clears throat> I've done a couple already so you can kinda see what it's gonna look like. Um, so what we're going to want to do is apply solder directly to this pad to start off. You just want to have your soldering iron directly on the pad and apply solder and you can kind of move it around as you need to. And as you can see it's covering the entire pad. We want to make sure we have full coverage on there. A lot of times we see uh, just a little bit stuck on in one spot. You want to make sure it's completely covered. So the next step is we're just going to take our tinned wire and stick it right there and apply the tip of the soldering iron directly to it. And as it heats up, it'll just melt right into the solder we previously applied. Just kind of want to let it cool off. And then when we're done, you can see it's nice and shiny. Um, a lot of times you'll see a cold solder. Uh, we wanna make sure it's nice and shiny. There's a good bulb of solder there. And then the other, the other thing you can see is it's not touching any of, these, any of these other solder points. So that's basically what you need to do. Okay, now we're gonna show you how to solder on the Molex connector. First thing that you want to do is just add a little bit of solder to this pad here. Just need a little bit. Basically, we're just putting this here to hold the connector in place while we get it all lined up. 
Next, we want to just set it on the board like so, heat up our solder, and then you can slide the connector into place. You just want to make sure when you slide that into place that all of your pins are directly over these pads. Um, try and get them as centered as possible. With such a small space, it can be tricky to not have each solder pad touch the other one. So once we've got that in place, we can set our soldering iron on the side of this pad here and just add solder to the front side. And as it heats up, it'll just draw the solder underneath the pad there and hold it in place. You can go back on this side and touch it up. And it should look something like that when you're done. Next, we're going to do each of these little pads. The best way to do this is if you just set your soldering tip directly on this little foot here. And it only takes a little bit of solder, and then you can draw it down onto that pad. And that's what it should look like when you're done. So that pretty much covers all the things you're going to have to do your to your distribution ring. You'll go through and do the brushless controls just like we did earlier, and then you'll be on your way. Thank you. This was Riley at Quadcopter. <laughs>